Sweet. Today's junkyard fine. Well, we got a six pole, uh, what do you call it, fuse holding circuit. Nice, two screws hold it down. Uses the, uh, not the brand new, but the older ones, you know, cartridge fuses. These are all 15 amp. Came out of an air conditioner. I was like, hey, two screws, it's mine. Needs a little work. Nothing bad. It's not melted. It's not falling apart. This is an e-brake handle from a big box truck. Now, it's way out back in the junkyard, and I only had a vice grip, so I mangled the end getting it off. But I kept about... Uh, three, two, three feet. Um, these kind of work in reverse. This thing goes up on the dash, and when you push it forward, it pulls the cable. When you pull it back, it loosens it. So it would be like this, it's released. Upright, it's released. If I pushed it down, it'd be locked. Um, maybe you could put it under the dash, maybe you could put it on the floor. Who knows? But, uh, and it's adjustable. You turn this knob, it puts a little more tension or pressure on the thing when you lock it down. So, they're pretty neat. I always wanted to use one for something. And now I got one. We'll play with that, see where it'll fit. Okay, let's have some fun. The brake. The only place it could go is there. And that would be locked. That would be yanking on the brake cables. We'd be in park. You'd have to pull it up to drive. Not a bad thing. Not a big deal. But, you know, I can't go under the dash. It gets in the way. I can't go on the floor. No real place for it. Transmission, yeah, you'd have to loop it around. You'd have to make some kind of bracket. And the, the sad part is, you can't do it now. So it's one of those things that you throw in the little part spin and say, hey, maybe someday, not today. You know what? I can get my dash and mess with that. Let's do that. A little cartridge fuses. This freaking thing is heavy. And I'm a righty. Let's see if we mess with this, see what we can do. Could have made room before you came over here. Alright, I set the dash in place. It goes about here. Um, there is a little raised section. I can lower it down. I don't know. We'll see. It all depends. We got a steering column in there. Uh, I know where it sits and it looks good. There is a big enough gap on the back when the dash is in the right place that I could put uh, the fuse panel off the back of the wood. It's only six fuses. I mean, what do I need? Um, wipers? Don't have any. Probably be manual. Radio? Don't have one. Um, you know, lights for gauges, uh, a horn. No, they're really, I don't need a lot of fuses. And I'm working on the thing, and all of a sudden this truck pulls up. A big brown truck. Made a phone call. Look at that. Not one. Three ammo cans. Well, 5.56, they're big enough. Let's see. And a 5.56 is about the size of a car battery. Lengthwise, not widthwise. Nope, two side by side. Or even two this way. Okay, let's set it up. I kid you not, three of them fit side by side like they were made to go there. I did not measure this, I did not set this up, but I'm finding that I like them better as they are back here. This one's going to fall, but let me put the camera down. That one ain't. Um, see what I mean? This one's going to fall. Hold on. There we go. Um, I don't know how much high there is. That is about two inches, maybe two and a quarter. Um, my seat's got to be up in the air, and it really all depends where the bomber seat goes. I could even leave those there and leave the battery wide open, but I, I wanted them to cover the battery, so. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I might connect all three of these, hollow them out and make that the battery box or see if we can get it in one and the other one could be a little like toolbox or something I cannot believe how those things fit like they were made to go there that's pretty funny anyway 
I, I really don't have any time to do anything today. Um, dropped my phone in a, in a pool of water. That pool. That little, my little wash basin. <laughs> so I gotta go get it fixed. Sorry guys, this is the dead battery. I tried uh, one ammo can, two ammo cans, all three. I like all three up front. And you know what? I think the battery could be back here. Yeah, there's still plenty of room. I mean, look at this. Look at this freaking battery. There's still enough room for two batteries. Maybe a piece of plywood in there. Put the battery this way. Um, slide the ammo cans back to hold it in, bolt them down. I've got, I don't know, three bins for tools or whatever. Ice, beer. So we got the toolbox, we got the ice chest for the beer. What's this one? That's the guns and the ammo. Just kidding. I cannot believe that fits. <laughs> oh my god. Heavy key. Be different. Oh, things you gotta think of, man. I'm just tired. I had a real busy day today. I can also lay my dash back a little too. Huh? Now, seriously, uh, are you guys watching? Turn a comment. You want them in the back? You want them in the front? You want to move the battery tray? Uh, there really isn't much else else that could go here except maybe, you know, some real ammo rounds. No, we don't need that. That would be cool. Chain belted ammo. Oh yeah. They better be blanks, right? Um, throw a comment. Tell me what you think, cause I'm undecided. How's that? And I need some uh, ambition. I gotta cut that friggin' tube out. I hate that thing. This can come right out. I can cut that no problem if I had to. No biggie. Wish I hadn't put it in until I got the ammo cans. I don't know. They'd be here so fast. I made a phone call. I said, hey, you got some of these? That was the day before yesterday. They're here already. Once again, have a good night. There you go. 86 Fierro. Why? Well, you pull it up, it ratchets, locks, and falls back down. Pull it up, pull the trigger, it releases.